Welcome, viewers, to this week's episode of Who's That Scientist? Today, we are with Marcy, who is going to tell us about Roxy C. Lightborn. So, Marcy, do you want to begin by giving us a little background information on Roxy? Sure. Roxy C. Laybourne was born September 15, 1910 in Fayetteville, North Carolina. She went to um, Meredith College where she rece received her undergraduate's degree and then went on to get her master's at George Washington University. Very cool. So what type of scientist is Roxy C. Laybourne? Okay, Miss Laybourne is a forensic orthonologist. Okay, so what is it that orthonologists do? Well, orthonology is the study of birds. So orthonologist is the scientific study of bird life. So everything from um, their habitats to their body structure to migrating patterns. And Miss Laybourne actually helped pioneer the term with her forensic uh, investigations on bird collisions with airplanes. Wow, okay. So can you tell us more about these scientific investigations? Uh, in 1960, it, there was a plane in Boston that crashed and it killed all 62 passengers. Uh, so Miss Laybourne helped uh, investigators conclude that the reason for the collision was uh, a flock of sterlings that went into one of the engines. Wow, okay. So how was she able to help investigators come to this conclusion? Uh, well, she devised a technique gentle enough to uh, get rid of the oil and gasoline from the feathers. That way she could then use a microscope to examine the feathers. And I actually have an enlarged picture here um, is the feather. The middle part is called the rachis. From the rachis you have barbs coming off and then from those barbs you have sections um, which are the barbules and which is what she would be looking at to identify the bird species. Very cool. So how does her work impact our viewers lives? Well, she's definitely made traveling by aircraft a lot safer. Because of her, engineers have um, created engines dynamic enough to withstand uh, the bird collisions, and orthonologists have also devised management plans to prevent flocks from migrating around airports. Well, there you have it, viewers. While you're traveling by plane on spring break, make sure to think of Roxy Sailaybourne.